back. So I don't want it touching the bed. So I just want to push this through. Almost no pressure, just slightly as you can. Can I get to the end of this? There. there is a vacuum on this bed, so these little holes. So on here, that's hold. Oh, actually, could it have? Yeah. <laughs> so that can hold the paper in place. I'm just going to lift this up. So watch out. As it goes up. So these holes here, what's causing the vacuum. We put scrap of, scrap paper around it so that that makes the vacuum stronger in the middle. Otherwise sometimes the ink can stick to... Yeah. One more? Yeah, one more. Yeah, that's good. So sometimes the paper can stick to the image. It looks like this ink has been quite badly mixed up actually. It's got... Um, you can see kind of flecks of white in it. it hasn't been mixed properly and the white dried really fast so it's probably not the best one to use but we'll see how we go and we can always clean it off and use a different one if it causes problems when we're printing. So I can turn the vacuum on, ready to do my first print. So now I've moved the tape, the roll of tape and it's almost flat on the base. Make sure it's evenly spread. And then in a 45 degree angle, so that's 90 degrees, that's 45 degrees, lots of pressure, <laughs> pull it towards me, tap the ink off, so it stays back there, lift it up, so you can either lean on it or put it for your helpful assistant, my helpful assistant's all the way over there, so could you pass me the tape? Thanks. Well your helpful assistant can be there ready to put the tape there. When you haven't got a massive audience around you, it's easier. And then flood back straight away. So the flooding back, that engages the ink in the image, in the screen, so it's ready for your next print, but it also slows down the drying time. So if we left it without flooding it back now, then it would dry really quickly. You need to print every couple of minutes to keep the ink moving through the screen and stopping it drying out. So now we can lift it up, have a look at our image on the acetate. Can you pass me a piece of paper? So this is where it becomes clear why we use the acetate. You can line up where on the image, where on the paper you want your image to sit. And you can measure it up as well. And then turn the vacuum on. As a pair of scissors, just on the bed. And I use two layers of masking tape to make little edges. line the paper each time so every time I get a new piece of paper I butt it up to where these bits of tape are so line it up to there so when I do my print it's going to be where I've aligned it on the acid Thank and take you. it over to the drying racks over there. So there's one on each side of the room so you don't have to run around too much. When you're carrying prints and holding paper, we always suggest you can hold it corner to corner. 